Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I will do a battery drain and thermal management comparison between the Pixel 6 Pro and the 7 Pro. Both phones almost have identical specs, which is a perfect scenario to see how efficient is Tensor G2 of the 7 Pro when compared to the first generation of the 6 Pro. I'm really excited to see the outcome of this comparison, so let's jump right in. First things first, I tried to match everything to make sure the only difference between the two is in the chipset. I set the display on both 1440p resolution. Both will be using LTE connection throughout the whole comparison to see if the new modem of the 7 Pro is any better. Smooth display will be on. Both have 128 GB storage and the screen brightness is calibrated. And now it's time to begin the comparison. Test number one will be a video call for one hour. I will be using Zoom as I found it to be the most power hungry across all video calling apps. And as I mentioned before, I will be using cellular data. So let's see how well each phone will perform in terms of battery and thermals. After 30 minutes, the 7 Pro was at 94% versus 91% on the 6 Pro, which is a 3% difference. When it comes to thermals, the 7 Pro was noticeably cooler as well at 45.6 degrees Celsius versus 49.8 degrees. So let's continue with the second 30 minutes and see if the gap will increase. One thing worth mentioning, after 40 minutes I noticed that the 7 Pro dropped the connection to H plus instead of LTE and you can see a much lower quality coming out of the 7 Pro camera that you can see on the other phone's screen. This could be a trick that the 7 Pro uses to minimize heat and battery consumption that the 7 Pro didn't and it kept the LTE connection. After one full hour, the 7 Pro lost 16% versus 20% on the 6 Pro, which is a noticeable difference. Also, the temperature was 46.3 degrees versus 48.3 respectively. But dropping the connection to H plus on the 7 Pro makes it unfair for the older model and I couldn't control this behavior. It seems like Tensor G2 behaves differently to minimize battery consumption and thermals, so let's see if this will continue to happen in other tests. Now it's time for the gaming test. I started with 83% on the 7 Pro because it lost 1% a few seconds after the previous one, and the 6 Pro is at 80% as it is. Here I used Temple Run 2 which supports 120Hz refresh rate and kept it looping endlessly. After one full hour of gaming, the 7 Pro lost a total of 17% and the remaining battery is 66, while the 6 Pro lost 19 and still have 61 remaining, which is a 2% gap between the two in the gaming test and a total of 5% difference in the overall percentage in favor of the 7 Pro. Surprisingly, this time the 7 Pro was slightly hotter at 44.3 degrees versus only 43.7 on the 6 Pro, and now let's move on to the video playback test. Here I will play a 2160p HDR video at 60 frames per second on YouTube. The battery percentages are 65% on the 7 Pro and 59 on the 6 Pro as both lost 1% since the previous one, so let's begin. Right off the bat, the 7 Pro display is noticeably brighter with more vibrant colors and better details, even though both are calibrated using the light meter, but when it comes to HDR videos, the phone ignores whatever brightness you have and adjusts the screen accordingly, so I'm curious to see if the higher brightness of the 7 Pro display will give the edge to the 6 Pro in the battery consumption or Tensor G2 will keep taking the lead. After one full hour of 4K HD video playback, the 7 Pro lost 20% with 45% battery remaining, and the 6 Pro lost 21%, and still have 38% left. Even though the 7 Pro display was noticeably brighter with more vivid colors, but it consumed 1% less battery, which is impressive. But the 6 Pro was cooler this time at 44.3 degrees versus 46 on the 7 Pro. Now let's move on to the social media scrolling for another hour and here I will use a third party app for auto scrolling. In this test the 7 Pro lost 22% versus only 21 on the 6 Pro. It's not a big difference but I expected the 7 Pro to win this one like the other rounds but maybe this is only the case with the Facebook app. Also, the temperature of the 7 Pro was 1.7 degrees higher at 46.1 versus 44.4 on the 6 Pro. But Tensor G2 is still taking the lead with a total of 23% battery remaining versus only 17 on Tensor G1. To finish the remaining battery, I will redo the same rounds again but with a duration of 30 minutes instead of 1 hour. And use the same sequence. Starting with the second round of the Zoom meeting, you will notice that this time the 6 Pro lowered the video quality drastically from the first minute. 
while the 7 Pro kept the normal quality level without any compromises, even after the whole 30 minutes, the video quality of the 7 Pro didn't change. Now we are at 4% on the 6 Pro versus 13 on the 7 Pro. So let's move on to the second gaming round. The 6 Pro died after 8.5 minutes while the 7 Pro still have 10% battery remaining. So let's continue to see how much screen on time those 10% will give. The 7 Pro made it till the end in the second gaming round with 4% battery remaining. So far it's 21.5 minutes ahead of the 6 Pro. So let's start the second YouTube round. Surprisingly, the last 4% was enough to play a 4K HDR video at 60 frames per second for 20 minutes. And that brings us to a total of 41.5 minutes extra screen on time when compared to the 6 Pro. Keeping in mind that the 7 Pro display was noticeably brighter in the YouTube rounds, so you could get even more screen on time without playing HDR content. So overall Tensor G2 is definitely better than G1 in battery consumption and I think the main reason behind this improvement is related to the better modem used in Tensor G2. Based on my experience with the 7 Pro, the mobile network usage never exceeds the 4%, while the 6 Pro is always between 10 to 15%. But in thermals, G2 was worse in 3 rounds out of 4. So I hope this will get sorted with the software optimization. Now there is only one thing left to test which is the 4K60 video recording. Tensor G1 was bad in this matter, so let's see if G2 is any better. Both phones are at 100% and the test took place in room temperature which is exactly 25 degrees Celsius and I will keep the same exact conditions of the previous tests. So let's begin and see which one will give a thermal warning first. I was really disappointed by the 7 Pro performance in 4K60 recording. It was even worse than the 6 Pro. It stopped after 8 minutes and 6 seconds and the temperature wasn't that high. It was only 41.4 degrees, so I'm not sure why it took this decision. While the 6 Pro kept recording and failed at 10 minutes and 52 seconds and the temperature was 42.3 degrees. And by the way, I tried this two times and I got the same results. I think Google need to do something about it because this is very unfortunate. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my battery comparison between the Pixel 7 Pro and the 6 Pro. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. Do you think it's a big improvement over its predecessor or it doesn't worth the upgrade? But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.